Hello all, in this particular tutorial, I'll talk about how the Oracle Wallet and Trusted Certificates works. So we, there is a requirement for a user to connect to an endpoint URL called www.oracle.com or any of your URL from the Oracle website. So if, if a user tries to access this particular website, will it work? And if it doesn't work, what we need to do to fix it? This particular tutorial is not step-by-step -step tutorial. It is a reverse engineering. So what we will do is like, we will first try to access this URL and based on what errors we get, we will fix those errors as and when we proceed with this particular tutorial. So this is not a step-by-step -step tutorial. This is a reverse engineering. However, all the steps required for you to set up Oracle Wallet and Trusted Certs are mentioned, but in a reverse way. Okay, so now let's, let's understand this. So now what we'll do is like, first we need to create a user. So this user wants to access this particular URL. So let's do that. So let me, I'm connected to Oracle. So I'm going to open two sessions. So let me open two sessions. In one session, let me connect to the Oracle database. And I have connected. Let me see what is the name of this particular database. We need this to connect to the database from remote. So that's done. So the name of this database is Aura19D. The first thing is we have to create a user. So let's say we don't have the user. If you have the user, these steps are optional. If you don't have the user, create that user. So let's let me create the user, the first user. And then what I'll do is like I'll grant the session, create session to that particular user so that he is able to connect. Now. <coughs> that user is created, sorry. Now that user is created, let's try to connect to the database. So let's put the session. So any name, so let's say Aura19D, you want to connect to Aura19D. So name, give the name of the database, whatever name you want. Then the username, which is test. Password of that is test because we give the test. Avoid save password so that you don't have to prompt the password. The IP of this, let's see what is the IP. I have config grep INET and looks like it is 192.168. So let's take this IP, put it here, and the port is 1521. And the SID, we have already captured that SID. So this is the SID. So let's take that and paste it here. Let's do the testing and successful. Let's save it and let's connect it. So now we have connected as a test user. And what we'll do now is like we will try to access this particular URL as a test user so let's do that so let's run this and then you can see we are getting an error so let's it says network access denied so network access denied i'm going to copy this so that you can see it clearly and here is the error this is the main error network access denied so our request has been failed our http request has failed and that is because the the oracle acl is blocking that particular request let's fix this error. So what, for that, what we need to do is we need to create an ACL and we need to assign the ACL. So we need to create the ACL. So till now we have just created the user and created the session and we try to access this. It failed because we are getting this error. Sorry, we are getting the network ACL error. So we are getting this error. So now we'll fix that error by creating the ACL and assigning. So when I create the error, this is the username for whom, whom we are creating that S, S, ACL and we are saying connect. And then the he, this and we are saying this particular ACL, it will be allowed to access the oracle.com. So we are giving oracle.com lower port and upper port null null. So we are do, going to do that. So let's do this one by one. So let me clear this particular screen. And let's, let me take the first command, copy it and paste it and that got completed so now the we have created acl the second step is we need to assign the acl so that is the second step let's do that and that also completed so now we have created an acl assign the acl let's go back now and see so we were getting acl error let's see are we still getting the acl error so let's run the same command and now 
the ACL error is gone, we are getting the another error called certification, certificate validation failure. So it's now, so basically the request is going to HTTPS website. This is a secure, which means it needs a certificate. The Oracle needs a certificate, the certificate to validate. So what we need to do to fix this, I'm going to remove this and because we have already gone past this error. How did we fix this error? By creating the ACL, assigning the ACL. Now we are going to fix this second error. So certificate validation failure. For that, what we need to do is like we need to create a valid and we need to add, we need to add the certificates, the, the Oracle certificates for this particular website, we need to add into the valid. Now, how do I do that? So for, for that, we need to create a valid. So let's, before creating the valid, let me go to this location. I don't have to log in as a root. I need as a Oracle user. So let's, so I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to <coughs> clear the screen. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to this location. Oh God. Okay. I'm going to go to this location and you can see that particular directory does not exist. So we do not have this particular directory. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a valid in that particular directory, whatever directory I have specified. So you can see here home aura 19D, home aura 19D. So I'm going to create this particular valid. Let me show you this command properly. So aura PKI valid create the name, the, the valid, the location of the valid or the name of the valid auto login, the password of that particular valid. So I'm going to do that. So that's done. Now, if I go to this location, here we were getting error, no such file. Let's see. Now we are inside the directory. So I can show it to you. And under that directory, we have this valid files. This is so the directory got created and the valid is also created. And inside that valid, these files, the files are created by the valid. So this our valid is set up. Auto login valid has been set up. All good. Now the next part is we we just have created the valid. We now have to import the certificates. To do that, what we'll do is like we need to we need to have the certificates of oracle.com. Now, what we, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the host and you can do this on Windows machine. You can do this on Edge. You can do this on Chrome. You can do this on Firefox. You can do this on any of the browser. I'll use Firefox. I love Firefox. So I'm going to, <coughs> I'm going to use Firefox and I'm going to launch Firefox. Give it a minute. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to say www.oracle.com. So this is the website. And here you can see the certificates. And I'm going to click on this. And you can, again, as I mentioned, you can do this on any of the browser. So here I'm going to say more information and minimize this. And now you can see here we have view certificate option. So I'm going to take this view certificate and I'm going to go to the details. And I need the root certificate and I need the Trust, uh, CA certificate. So I need a CA certificate and I need a root certificate. So I'm going to export both of them. So I'm going to export the root. So click on export, save wherever you want to save it. So let's say I want to save it under the download location, save it. Okay. And before saving it, let me go to that location. So let me open another terminal. CD slash home slash Oracle slash downloads. LS minus L. You can see there is nothing. Okay, I'm going to save it. Then if I do LS minus L, you can see now we have exported the root. So I have exported the root. Now I'll click on this CA certificate. I'm going to export that. So again, I'm going to save it. That's done. And as I mentioned, you can do this from any of the browser. You can do this on Windows and you can upload the certificate to, v to the server using WinSCP or any other software. Now we got the, we got the certificate. We got the certificates. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to import these two certificates into the valid. So how do I do that? So Aura PKI valid add into this particular valid trusted certificates, the the DigiCert root certificate and the DigiCert this certificate. So I'm going to add these two certificates. So let's go to that location. So where, where are those certificates? So we know that they are here. So so CD home slash Oracle slash downloads ls minus l take the name of this certificate put it here in the command take the name of the second certificate put it here in the command now one by one add the certificate so first we will add this certificate clear the screen 
ls minus l these are the two certificates that we are going to add into the valid so the command is or pki valid add the valid location this is the trusted cert the name of the cert what is the password of the valid so i'm going to do that so that's operation is completed successfully i'll have to do the sec same with the second certificate as well one is the trusted root one is the ca certificate and that's done so both of these certificates are part of the valid now so now what, what i'm going to do let's go back to our sql developer and see if if we are if we are successful now we have created the valid so what steps we did we created a valid and we added those two certificates into that valid so then i'm going to run this and looks like i'm still getting the same error so what is happening here is like this particular command doesn't know where to find the valid where is the valid okay so this particular command doesn't even know where is the valid located so what we can do now is like we can tell oracle before running this command we can tell where is the location of our valid so to do that i'm going to use this particular command and i'm going to go back to sql developer i'm going to put that command before and i'm going to say util http set valid the location of the valid so this is the valid this is the location where we created that valid so that you can see this is the valid or this is the location of the valid i'm going to take that location and i'm going to set that particular location so that's done okay and i'm going to close all of this and now i'm going to run this particular command util http request oracle.com and let's see if it works and you can see now we are not getting error and we are getting the out, out, output from the oracle which means that our database was able to access www.oracle.com so if i have to <coughs> tell you what we did here is like we actually have two steps to be done we need to have create the valid import the certificates and we need to create an acl and assign that acl once this is done the user should be able to access the website from the oracle web oracle database i hope this particular tutorial was useful after watching this particular tutorial, you will understand how the Oracle Wallet and the Trusted Certificate works. Thank you for watching and see you in next tutorial. Bye-bye.